What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're finally starting our uh, journey with Luna from the beginning. We've heard uh, everything of them together except for one song uh, and I think that's So What. But we're going to save that to the end. So, we're starting from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to do these in groups of three or however it feels best, right? This first one feels best as three because Heejin's first, then they introduce uh, Hyunjin, and then they put them together. I don't know if that's the pattern all the way through, but at least for now, for this one, I'm, I'm going to say we're going to do them by three. So, I, there are some videos in between, but I'm just picking the songs themselves. So, the debuts, none of the extra stuff that they released in between those songs, because there's just too much material. Uh, there's like 30-something songs, something like that, so... We're gonna check these out first and follow uh, the 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 journey all the way until we where we are now, and then we'll end with so what. So, kind of nervous about this. Don't know how it's starting. Someone mentioned in the comments that uh, to be prepared, these are different. Um, so I, I don't know what to make of that. But I have an open mind, and I love all kinds of music. So let's check this out. All right. So this first one is uh, Hejin, and the song is called Vivid. And so far, Hejin has the has been the one that's standing out to me so black and white ah. old school <laughs> french It's definitely a French melody. That is a very nice pre-chorus and a very nice face. Hmm, oh, I didn't realize I didn't have... No, I have captions on. Oh, they're in white. That's why I can't see it. It's French, but also a certain era of French music. Feels like 20s, 30s, the 40s. It's interesting. She sounds great in this style. There's something so nice about this pre-chorus. Yeah, she sounds great. Yeah, this really suits her. I'm not even going to try to figure out what's going on in the video. It's catchy. Not particularly my style, but it's catchy. And Hmm, and there she was with the broom. 
And I think I remember in the in the beginning them highlighting a uh, was it a vacuum or something like that. I wonder if the whole thing was a daydream for her, and maybe she was a maid or something like that. Okay, so the style is is definitely giving me French vibes and very old school French music uh, vibes. Like I said, I don't know what era, twenties, thirties, forties, but some something like that. I wonder if they chose that because that's just her style. Like, is she from France or, you know, how does that all tie together? Uh, regardless, she sounded great. And like I said, it's normally not my type of thing, but I'm strangely attracted to that song. I don't know what it is. So that is going on playlist. And I, I don't know. One of my favorite movies, actually my favorite movie of all time is a French musical. So I, I'm, it's not that I don't like French music. It's just something about that era. Era, it's just like, it wouldn't normally go on playlists, but there's something about this song that really is kind of pulling me in. So, And it's not just her. It's, it's the writing as well. So, all right, that was very nice. You guys are, I'm sure, going to explain the whole origin of the French thing and the video itself. So, okay, so that was her introduction. That's how she came in. That was a very nice uh, display of, of what she can do vocally So, uh, and the tone of her voice. So, next is Hyunjin. And this song is called Around You. So let's see what this is about. These white intro screens are going to kill me. And the green, apparently. Totally different vibe. What? Okay. Interesting. It's like a film. I did see a big cat head, right? And there are subtitles down there, so I'm assuming that's the song. But we're hearing it like she's listening to it on the radio. Bracelet. That bracelet means something, I'm sure. Okay, so I guess that was the song. That's an interesting vibe. At first glance, it sounds sad, but it's not sad. It's like lonely. I literally got chills. That's a vibe, dude. Oof. Yeah, that's beautiful. And her voice is made for that style. Whoa! Hold on, we gotta pause for that. That was a that was a really nice change. Holy okay, alright. Yeah, it's got like a Lenny Kravitz vibe. And this change That's beautiful. It reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on it. And there are cats everywhere.
I love it. Uh, there's the big cat again. What the? Okay, does she feel like a cat? It might help if I read the lyrics, but you guys know I don't read the lyrics. Especially when I'm confused. It's creepy. Oh, now, what? Okay. I guess. Hmm. Okay. That was really nice. The The song itself was beautiful. That really did suit her voice. So I guess that's what they're doing. They're maybe picking things that, that really suit uh, and display their vocal uh, textures and and abilities and stuff. The interesting thing to me is, okay, so if I'm getting this right, we had, a, I think, maybe a maid daydreaming. Um, and now a girl on her own. Again, the song felt sad, but not really. Not when you really break down the melody. It, it feels like lonely or like you're missing something, uh, but not necessarily sad, just kind of, empty maybe um and in a totally different situation especially with the camera like it, it was looking like we were peering into her life i wonder if so far what it feels like is like they're showing diff totally different situations and they're going to put them together all of a sudden to be this mega group right maybe that's the vibe they're going for is like showing them uh, uh displaying their vocal abilities and also showing how they're getting plucked from different situations to be put together. Maybe that's the thing, but all right. Okay. All right. So the next song is them together. So Heejin and Hyunjin together. This is I'll Be There. That was really, really nice. That's playlist for sure. All right. Let's check this one out. Oh. So they're just together. No introduction, no meeting or anything. Okay. We've got an 80s. Definitely 80s vibe. That's an interesting instrumental. They sound great together. That face. I love it. That's so catchy. Yeah, this instrumental is all over the place. They sound great, though. Don't try to vex me. You already did. Exactly. The interesting thing is, is that they sound great. The instrumental sounds like it's just trying to keep up with them. It's, it's, we'll talk about that. I love that part. That bass line's very familiar. But it's a typical bass line for that era, so that makes sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, they sound really, really good. And I'm assuming uh, maybe a video or two that I'm I skipped as far as the in between the songs probably put them together maybe. Okay, that was nice. That's playlist. Okay, I definitely have thoughts about that instrumental though. It they sounded great, right? Steady, just rock solid all the way through. They sounded amazing. The instrumental, because it sounded like it was actually, excuse me, a band playing electronic drums and all that. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like a performance, uh, not just copied and pasted uh, uh, MIDI and stuff like that. It sounded like a, a real performance, but it also sounded very loose and I don't want to say sloppy, but it felt like the instrumental was trying to keep up. It's kind of like, you know, you have these great vocalists doing their thing and the band's just kind of like, oh. Oh, yeah, okay, you hired us to do this, now we're doing it, and it's, you know what I mean? It feels unfinished. The All the, the textures in this instrumental are very, they feel unprocessed. They feel loose and just all over the place. And I'm wondering if that's done on purpose, because if I'm right, and we're trying to show these two girls getting plucked out of totally different situations and put together... It's not perfect at first, right? Maybe they're trying to show that. I don't know. I could be reading too much into it because of how deep you guys say the Lunaverse goes, right? But that's what that's the, what I imagine because five years ago, I mean, in music in general, like they would have known better than to than to have uh, a mix like that. It's not bad. It's just it doesn't feel finished, and it feels like it's done on purpose. Anyway, that is the, all three of those songs are playlist. Interestingly enough, the first ones, first one, uh, Vivid, is not really my style, but I really, there's something that draws me into that song. The second one, um, definitely playlist. That is a vibe. And this was really nice too. So, all right. First three down, 30 more to go. Okay. Well, we're on our way at least. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.